Hi everyone, this is Anna Quintana with St. Cross Art and welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Um, today I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, which is use a black uh, pillow paint. And it's really interesting some of the things that inspire me. Um, today I was actually eating some vegetable egg rolls uh, from Whole Foods. And I love this color scheme. I don't know if you can see it, but it's black and red and gold and some white. And so I'm going to use this as my color inspiration for today. We're going to pour a black pillow paint. Uh, and then I'll show you the other, I'll talk about the other colors. But like I said, it, you can derive inf inspiration from anywhere. And today, um, this one was mine. I think it's kind of cool. So let's get started. I'm going to pour a black pillow, which like I said, I have not done in a long time. And I'm using the Sherwin-William uh, color to go, which is a lot thinner than the uh, Multipro PPG that I normally use. So it'll be interesting to see what results we get and we'll see if it works out. So let me spread this out. I'm gonna make sure we get a good pillow so that we can manipulate the paint. And as I've mentioned um, earlier in my some of my other videos, this is not an instructional video. I am not a teacher. I just am showing you how I make my art because I think it's kind of cool. And also if anybody purchases this art, they can also see the video of how it was made, which I think is kind of, um, you know, kind of a special touch. So let me pour a little bit more on here and we'll start with our colors. I'm just gonna spin it just a little bit just to spread it out. And hopefully this will give us some good coverage. All right, so I think I'm going to start out today um, with white. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I just want to see, again, these, these colors are sort of what I've picked, but I really, at the end of the day, you know, it, it could be different color combinations, but let's do it with white this time. I'm going to use some red, some gray, um, some gold, obviously, just all the colors in that palette. So let's start off with white. And we're going to be making a bloom today. We're going to put a lot of white in here. Then the next color that I am going to use is going to be this gold. I just think this gold is so pretty. And I want a lot of it, just like in the uh, container that I showed you. I just really want to maximize this gold. I just love it. And this is Harvest Gold from uh, this little pigment, or TLP. And the other one was just Titanium White. Next color I think I'm going to do is the red. And this is Nap Napthal Red Light. Um, it's a Liquitex liquid acrylic color. And I want a lot of red too. Look how pretty this already looks. Just these um, kind of Asian type colors just are just stunning. So I want lots of red in there. And then I'm going to do something fun. I want to give it kind of a sparkle. So I'm using brulee, which is an interference. I don't know if you can see it, interference color. And I'm gonna drizzle it to give it kind of a shimmery approach, kind of a shimmery color. It looks white when you put it down, but it actually has kind of a, almost like a little bit of a tan color, if you will, like a beige. That also looks um, Asian too, doesn't it? Um, then I'm going to finish it off with some gray. I just think gray would look really pretty in this design. And in this painting, I'm going to put a little bit of gray here. And then I am going to use a black cell activator, which is just, um, I believe I'm using, let's see. 
Oh, this is just Payne's Gray, which is the normal one that I like to use. So we're gonna put some here in the middle and then we're gonna blow it out and see what we get. All right. So I'm gonna start blowing and let's see what happens. This middle section right here, it, it didn't produce a lot of cells. So I'm gonna do a mouth blow to see if I can break the surface tension and um, get some more cells here in the middle. But I really love how these cells right here are developing with the golds and the reds. The gray kind of has added a nice contrast. Um, I think this is gonna look really pretty. I'm going to do a little bit of just tilting here just to kind of stretch out these cells a little bit while we wait for them to develop. But I have to tell you, I, I kind of really love this color inspiration. And uh, let's, let's just tilt a little more. And it's okay if I overrun some of these cells. And by overrunning, I mean they, they get actually a little smaller because then we're gonna stretch them back out again. And when we spin, they'll really stretch out. So I really am loving this design. I just think it's so pretty and the colors are gorgeous. So we're gonna give it a pretty big, what I call a vigorous spin. So here we go, let's see what happens. Wow, look at what we're getting here. Really, very, very pretty. Again, I'm gonna use a, my chopstick as my pointer so I don't get anything on the paint, but look at this, how it's developing. Really gorgeous. What I'm gonna do is try to cover these edges here and just kind of work with the composition a little bit. Um, let's do this and make sure that we cover all of our edges, but I am just loving this color combination. So glad that I had egg rolls today for lunch because that's what inspired me. So we're gonna just do a little bit of tilting this way and a little bit this way. I'm gonna turn this over a little bit because I think that this is the orientation if I'm standing here, that um, I really love for the composition. I'm going to do another spin, not as vigorously. I do need to get a lot of this paint off, but I'm just loving this. I do think I wanna get some of this black though on the side. Here, you can see this black area right there, dark area. I'd really like to see if I can get rid of some of that. So let's... Uh, Let's give it another spin. Looks like it moved some right here. I'm gonna see if I can move it just a little bit more because I'd love to see more of this cell action coming here and also see if we can get rid of this little corner here because we have some gorgeous cells that would look so pretty if we stretched them out. I'm really loving this though. Let's stretch a little bit this way, tilt a little bit this way and get that. Oh yeah, those cells are so pretty. 
there on the corner, you can see it's definitely moving. I'm going to maybe do a little bit more stretching this way so I don't get cells that are too curved. And also there's still paint coming off of this. But those gold cells are gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with them. All right. Let's do another, let's look. I still would like to get rid of this section here, make it a little less dark. It just looks very dark to me. But I don't wanna compress, these cells are really cool. I don't wanna compress these too much. So I think I'm gonna do one more spin. Actually, maybe a little tilt this way just to see if I can move some of these really pretty red cells down without compromising the cells on top. There's still a lot of paint, so we, we have room to work with here. Let me do a little spin and see where that gets us. Definitely. So I don't mind this area here as much. We've moved it down. We've got some beautiful cells here. I don't want to distort my cells in the middle. Um, I wish these were a little bit bigger, but honestly, I really like the composition a lot. Um, again, I like to be able to see, have my eye drawn to something. And definitely it's drawing to this area here. Um, and again, would love to do something here, but not at the expense of these up here because these are really cool, but they're starting to get smaller. Let me see if I can do just a little bit more tilting and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. And let's see, does it reflect the colors? I think it does. I think it reflects the colors really well. You can see the reds, the golds, the white, obviously the black. And then we added a couple of other um, shimmery interference colors to give it that, uh, that nice iridescence. Let me just do a little bit more here. Make sure I've got enough paint off. And then I think we're gonna call it a day. Really happy with this one. Make sure our sides look good, that we have coverage. And this is a 14 by 14 inch um, canvas gallery wrapped. So I think this is good. Let me just make sure I've got enough paint off. I think the next one I may do try to do some swirlies. Let's see. Did we get off all the paint? I think so. I think that'll work. So um, anyway, that's my, one of my blooms for today, I think I'm gonna try and do two today, um, using that same color palette and using a black pillow. Thank you for joining me. Again, this was Anna Quintana, St. Cross Art. Please um, like my channel, please subscribe to it, and share it with others. Thank you, have a great day, bye. I wanted to show you some of the uh, paint painting close-ups. You can really appreciate some of these beautiful cells that we've got here with the golds and the reds and the gray i think was a nice touch and there's some shimmery white in there there's some cool cells here but just wanted you to be able to see this i think it turned out really pretty and i'm really happy with this palette all righty we'll see you next time